BMAT Section 3 requires you to choose from three essay titles and then complete a structured answer on an official BMAT Section 3 answer sheet within a 30 minute time limit. Historically, each of the BMAT Section 3 essays will fall into one of the following categories, although this can vary from year to year. Historical quote slash philosophy, so it might be a quote from Voltaire or Darwin, etc. Medicine slash science. And finally, ethics. Now, the majority of prospective medical students tend to select a medicine slash science or ethics based question and this is completely understandable. It's important to choose a question that you feel most comfortable answering, rather than attempting a potentially more challenging question. As what you may view as challenging, other candidates might regard as much more straightforward. Now, we've divided the BMAT Section 3 past paper questions into categories, allowing you to try questions from each grouping so that you can identify your strengths. Each essay will normally have three parts. These are commonly, although not always, the following. Explain what you think the statement means. Argue in favour of the statement. To what extent do you agree with the statement? By completing a range of BMAT Section 3 practice essays, you'll have a better understanding of which of the three essay categories suit your strengths. Combining this knowledge with an assessment of the essay titles and importantly their sub-questions, you should be able to select the most suitable BMAT essay within the first two minutes of the exam. More details of the BMAT Section 3 timings and how to use that time effectively can be found in our BMAT Section 3 tips and techniques. Answers to BMAT Section 3 need to be completed on an official BMAT Section 3 answer sheet, which is equivalent to approximately two thirds of a standard A4 page. Text that is written outside of the answer sheet borders won't be marked, so it's essential that all key information is included within the specified area. To better understand the answer sheet limitations, we strongly recommend that all Section 3 practice is completed on official BMAT Section 3 answer sheets. Whilst BMAT Section 3 does not test specific knowledge or topics, an awareness of a range of medical topics such as medical ethics, consent and the Hippocratic Oath can considerably improve your score. We've created a dedicated page of important Section 3 knowledge. For more detailed content, attend an intensive BMAT course or subscribe to the online BMAT course. The BMAT Section 3 essays are sent to your chosen medical schools along with your BMAT score. This allows the schools to ask you questions on your essay during your interviews. This is commonly the case at UCL, with other medical schools using the essays more sporadically. As such, we would recommend that you write down all of your BMAT Section 3 essay points straight after the BMAT exam, so that you can prepare for any questions that might arise from the points that you made. Common interview question types that relate to BMAT Section 3 include the following. How would you summarise your BMAT Section 3 essay? What changes would you make to your essay? If you could make one additional point to your essay, what would it be? And how would you explain this technical aspect of your essay to a layperson? Thank <laughs> you.